Hey guys, so we are um, still in the last phase of the 30 day reset that we're doing over at Oil This by Jenny on Facebook. Uh, so you can hop on over there, join us anytime to learn about um, essential oil education. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're in the end phase, the third phase of a 30 day reset. And we're in the nourish phase. So we've done reset, we've done detox, and now we're in nourish. And I'm giving you all of these exercises that I have um, learned and practiced along the way, along my path uh, since I was doing yoga as a, as a teenager. And they've helped me tremendously in so many different ways. And I love teaching uh, what I've learned. And so this next exercise is something that I had learned mostly from Anadeya Judith, who I call the queen of chakras, of energy centers. Um, but since when I've been studying the Miracle Morning, which I told you about the other day, and uh, with a lot of different just success leaders and entrepreneurs, they have similar practice to this. Uh, this is the one that I love the most, um, that I find the most comprehensive. I'm diffusing today in my diffuser, myrrh, from the frankincense and myrrh, uh, way back in biblical times. They've been using these oils forever for spiritual awakening, for health purposes. And I'm also diffusing rose today. So I picked some heavy hitters. Now myrrh is something that typically we use for um, kind of working well with the root chakra. So the chakra that's available to us um, or that, that we have that's associated with rather stability, career, security, things like that. Rose is actually helpful for the heart, right? For opening the heart uh, energy center. So we're, I'm gonna take you through this quick practice of what I do when I want to take away the blockages of life force, right? So let's say you have stagnant energy, you feel real stagnant. What this does, um, some people would say, you know, awaken the energy within or awaken the kundalini within, where you're actually just releasing the blockages of your body so that the life force that is already you can kind of come streaming through, okay? So take a seat. This one, energy goes, um, this exercise is, is much faster than ones we've done in the past. Um, the one where we did alternate nostril breathing, we're gonna actually be breathing through the nose um, or through the mouth, just much quicker. This is called the breath of fire. So you can do it through the nose for purposes of just getting my oxygen. Today, I'm gonna do it a little more forcefully, but through the mouth. Okay, so the first one is we're going to, from the root chakra all the way up. Okay, so I'm just gonna go uh, through it fairly quickly. Go ahead and watch the video one time. Uh, two or three times if you want to really learn it and try it by yourself without distraction. Okay, so here we go. And after every time that you finish one section, right, this was to uh, remove the blocks out of the root chakra. You sit and you let the body kind of waver back and forth just like a tree would in uh, the wind. And for this, as you smell the myrrh and the rose, you can say a mantra like, I am a divine being of light. I am peaceful. I am protected. I am secure. And then we'll set up for the next one. We just stay here. We just start to rock the low, low, low pelvis, right? Nothing too much in the upper body yet, just the low pelvis, right? To really rock that bowl, the hip bowl back and forth. So you wanna do it pretty quick here. Forward, inhale, exhale, back. that energy life force that's always within you starting to unravel align your spine here you can say 
I am authentically creating a life free of stress, full of bliss. Breathe in that myrrh, that rose, whatever oil, oils you've chosen. We're going to go right into chakra three. So starting to wind around here. We're focusing on opening the third uh, chakra, which is right above the belly button. So winding around that place, keep going. Slow it down here. We're going to switch directions, switch the feet. If you have one foot in front of the other, inhale the other side. Breathe in, slow it down. As you settle in to the center, let your body just come back to normal breath. And you can say this mantra while you breathe in the essential oil. I am confident. I am powerful. I am successful in all that I do. And just bask in that for a moment. For the next one, we're going to bring our hands right to our shoulders. We're going to inhale to one side, exhale to the other side. Slow it down. We're going to switch sides. Move your feet. If you had moved from the first time, inhale to the second side, exhale. it down. Big breath in. This is the halfway mark of the clearing of the energy centers or the blockages of the energy centers. So you should feel quite a bit of energy at this point, right in the middle of the heart chakra. Here we could say a mantra about giving and receiving love. So I give, receive, I give love and I receive love without effort, unconditionally, right? Unconditionally, good. So now we're moving up to the throat, right? This throat area, and this is where we actually start to vocalize. So we bring our hands, clasp them together, bring the fingers right underneath the chin, lift up, inhale, exhale, ha, 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 a little faster, ha, 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 ha. Close your eyes if they're not. Go ahead, release your hands, take a big breath. You can say to yourself or say the mantra out loud, I'm speaking truthfully and uh, effortlessly, with grace and with ease, right? Speaking the truth with grace and with ease. Let the essential oils fill your senses, all of your senses, right? Just a couple more. So here we're working on the third eye, okay? So the space right in the middle of your forehead. And what we're going to do is close the eyes, right? You're going to Keep the image of whatever you see in front of you and then breathe in there and then okay so inhale do a little quick exhale close the eyes See if you can actually see the image that you just saw, the outline of it in light as you close your eyes. Here I like to say, I see the beauty in all things, right? You can add whatever you love to pray to. You can love energy, God. God, I see the beauty in all things. I see you in all things. I am on the path uh, toward my purpose. 
Finally, we're going to work on the crown chakra. So, right, we're just bringing everything together. From here, we're going to bring our hands together in prayer pose. Bring the hands up, but the thumb is going to tap the top of your head. So, as you bring them up, you can kind of bow your head, tap the top of the head to kind of just activate that top crown, and then bring it all back together. We'll do it a little bit fast, right? Inhale. Sit here for a moment, feeling all this gorgeous energy, closing your eyes, seeing the light, feeling all of the energy centers lined up on top of one another. And here we can say, I am one with the divine. I am connected on my path. I am one with the divine. We're all connected. Smile to that. Let that energy soar through you. Stay here as long as you like. Relax the skin over the fascia, the fascia over the muscles, the muscles over the bones, the bones around this Shashumna energy light that is within, within you and with you and is you always. Okay, so stay here if you like. Otherwise, bring your hands together and take this energy with you to not only you, but everyone else you see, right? Just spread this joy so others can know that they can attain it as well. Have an awesome day, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.